This is the third screencast in a four-part introduction to using views in Drupal Gardens to make custom listings of content. In this screencast, we're going to make two different kinds of blocks using views. Blocks in this case are chunks of selected content to display. First, we'll make a list of topics like this. I have all of my news tagged with one term each. I'll make this list of taxonomy terms used on my site using a block view. Next, we'll make a list of related content based on a shared tag. What I mean by this is, if you view a post on sports, it would show more sports articles in a block. Or if you're viewing a politics article, you'll see politics listed in a block. We'll make this by configuring a view to dynamically check the given context, in this case, a taxonomy term. Then it will pull in only the appropriate list of content. Okay. Let's start at Structure, Views, Add New View. I'll call this Topics. This interface is a quick wizard to make views. As you saw in previous screencasts, you can make lists of content, though we can also make lists of other entities, such as comments, users, and in our case, taxonomy terms. I can choose my vocabulary here, in my case, tags. I don't need a page, so I'll deselect it here and select Block instead. I'll list up to 10 tags and show them as a HTML list. Now I can save and exit. I'll go to Structure, Blocks, and locate my new block under the group of disabled blocks. I'll select it to go to sidebar A and make sure it's located at the top. Save blocks and let's see. Okay, great. I have all the terms listing in a topics block now. Next, on my site, when I click an article and I see that this item is a politics article, I would like the related politics articles to show up in this sidebar. So I'll go to Structure, Views, and Add New View. In this case, it won't make much sense to have a page for this view, so I'll deselect that and create a block instead. The wizard here gives us a few options. For example, you already know how you can set how this content displays, in my case as a HTML list, and I can restrict to a certain number to show. but. We can use advanced options by clicking Continue and Edit. On this page, I can do a number of different things. First, I'll add a filter. Search for Content, select Content Type, and restrict to News Items. So now, I can see I'm only listing news here in the preview. That's good. Keep in mind, I want to filter based on the taxonomy term of any given news items I'm viewing. I'll have hundreds of news items and 10 terms, Using this dynamic contextual filter, a listing will be automatically generated based on that context. So even if staff add new tags, this will still work. Okay, so let's click to expand the advanced options and we'll add a contextual filter. I'll search for taxonomy and click content has taxonomy term ID and add and configure this. Select provide default value and select taxonomy term ID from URL. Select Load Default Filter from the Term page, and select Load Default Filter from the Node page. As described here, that's good for related taxonomy blocks. I'll restrict to my tags vocabulary. Now scroll down and select Specify Validation Criteria, and choose the validator Taxonomy Term. Again, choose the tags vocabulary. And if this filter doesn't validate, it will just hide the view. Excellent. Now I'll apply to all displays and I'm ready to save. Okay, let's see how this looks. Go to Structure, Blocks, and I can look for my new block in the Disabled section. I'll place it into sidebar B, and of course rearrange and make sure it's at the top. I'll save Block Configuration, and great! I'm seeing the related news. Though, when I click on a tag, the term is still validating, so I'm seeing this block. It's a little redundant, so I'll edit, and restrict to specific content types. And here I can select News and Save. Great. Related content only shows on the news items. As you can see, contextual filters are a powerful tool to get truly dynamic lists of content. I saved myself time because I didn't have to create a unique view for each term. And now, when new terms are added, it will automatically generate the related content blocks. So now you know that you can list more than just content. You can also list taxonomy terms. We used a simple wizard to make that block very quickly. Then 
we saw some of the advanced settings and views and how you can dynamically take in filters such as the content type or contextual filters. Our context was the term for our given news item we were viewing. This way, we could tell views to only pull in news items with that related term. If you have any questions about what you've seen, come join us on the forums at Dribble Gardens.